Welcome back to Hannity. Republicans officially passed their tax cut plan, and predictably, Democrats and the media did their best to paint the bill as a disaster for America. Take a look at this. In this case, it seems like this is the wrong tax cut at the wrong time, directed at the wrong people. It was a classic bait and switch. They dangled out there for the middle class, they're expecting a tax cut, and what it's really doing is helping the corporate special interests as well as the wealthiest in this nation. I'll ask you plainly, are you living in a fantasy world? Now we know they're popping champagne down Pennsylvania Avenue. There are only two places where America's popping champagne. The White House and the corporate boardrooms, including Trump Tower. Otherwise, Americans have a lot to regret. After all the president's promises, after all Republicans' brazenly, brazenly transparent mis misrepresentations to the American people, the true face of what Republicans stand for has been revealed. Well, it is a victory for billionaires like Donald Trump. It's a victory for wealthy campaign contributors like the Koch brothers. But this is a disaster for the American people. In response to the bill's critics, President Trump tweeted, quote, the tax cuts are so large and so meaningful, and yet the fake news is working overtime to follow the lead of their friends, the defeated Dems, and only demean. This is truly a case, he continues, where the results will speak for themselves starting very soon. Jobs, jobs, jobs. And joining us now with Reaction is author and host of The Dana Show on Radio America, Dana Lash, mm -hmm. America First Action spokesman and senior advisor, former Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark, and incoming Heritage Foundation President Kay Cole James. All right, good evening. I, I, I have to tell you, and, and uh, I'll start with you, Dana. I mean, Armageddon, the yes. wrong bill at the wrong time. Are you living in a fantasy world? I mean, don't they totally lose their credit? credibility. They do lose their credibility. Imagine they wanted to increase and keep high Americans' taxes for Christmas. Not a single Democrat was supporting this bill. You're not going to be able, they cannot lie to the American people when the American people see that they are keeping more of their money because these are going to kick in really quick. You can't lie to people about what's in their bank account. You can't lie to them about what's written on their checks. They're going to immediately start feeling relief, as we've seen from AT&T, as we've seen from Boeing. This is our money. And corporations, and by the way, Chuck Schumer was attacking AT&T, claiming on, in video that AT&T was going to use this to enrich in themselves. And what does AT&T do? They announced that they're investing in their employees and their community, as is Boeing and other companies, because this is how economics work. This is how math works. They're on the wrong side of, the hist of, uh, of history on this. And I have to say, I think today, so far, has been the greatest day of President Trump's administration. This was a great day, a historic day. All right, and I'll go to you, David Clark. I mean, the whole idea that, that Dana leaves us with and is the repeal of the individual mandate in Obamacare. This whole thing is fantastic. Look, tax cuts drive Democrats and liberals crazy. They are the tax and spend uh, party, and they've been that for a long time. President Donald Trump knows that this economy, in order to get it kick-started, needed fuel. That fuel was his tax reform and tax cut bill. There's been nothing but good signs out of this economy since he's taken office in January. Under Obama, we had nothing but stifling taxes, stifling job creation, loss of jobs, companies moving overseas. His policies had the effect of having its boot on the neck of the American company. Well, that boot has been taken off today with this historic uh, tax reform bill. And Kay, I'll go to you. I mean, you know, incoming president uh, to the Heritage Foundation. I mean, how, how do you view this passage? <laughs> Well, first of all, you know, it's an exciting Christmas for me coming to the Heritage Foundation and then the president and the speaker and the majority leader delivering a present like this for all Americans. You know, facts are stubborn things. And no matter what the Democrats say today, the reality is the American people are going to see those tax cuts in their wallets. They're going to see them in their paychecks. They're going to see it in the jobs that are being created. And no matter what they say, no matter how they try to demagogue this issue, the reality is 
Americans got a wonderful gift today. And, uh, you know, I don't think that uh, the champagne is being popped in <laughs> corporate boardrooms, but the reality is there are some American people sitting around their kitchen tables this evening that have a lot to be grateful for well, to this president and, and to this Congress. And, and Dana, clearly, I mean, this is a great time of year. So when I hear uh, the Democrats saying it's the wrong bill at the wrong time, I mean, first of all, this is the best time to oh. do it. That's just, just my take. Uh, on the holidays. But, but more than that, Dana, if they're really that angry about it, this continuing resolution that's coming up, you know, the, 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 the uh, government shutdown on, on Friday, uh, I mean, they would, they would shut the government down. I mean, but they're not going to oppose this, are they? The continuing no, resolution. No, and, and they, they shouldn't be. They shouldn't. They, they shouldn't do, they shouldn't oppose this, and they shouldn't try to shut government down because they're having a tantrum over Americans getting to keep more of their own money. You know, according to Democrats, there's no good time to allow Americans to keep more of their own money. <laughs> and, and Judge Janina, I want to add as well, for, for individuals that are so upset that the government is allowing them to keep more of their own money, they, this is just the minimum. I want to remind people, they are free, we live in America, God bless the USA, they're free to pay more to the government if they so choose. They can write a check to the Treasury and they can pay more. They don't have to listen to the government's minimum suggestions in terms of tax brackets. They can pay 50 percent, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent of their income to the government. That's their choice. And but David, David Clark, what do you say to those who say that uh, it has a negative impact on the on the debt, that it's going to increase the debt? Well, you know, that stuff remains to be seen. But here's the here's the issue for uh, the president today. He has to get this economy going. He's already done that. But this thing is going to pick up steam. And if the Democrats don't get out of the way, they're going to get run over by this robust economy. Um, they're trying to throw a wet blanket over this historic occasion, but it's not going to work. The American people sent Donald Trump, like I said, the only person in Washington, D.C., who's actually created jobs has been Donald Trump. He understands what how, the role that the uh, uh, politics can play in either stifling the economy or giving it juice. So this is good. And as soon as this thing really takes off, I think it's a good night for the Democrats.